window comes to the video where we'll be looking at this. The Bachelor Pass on 17 in London Middle Living. I'm just going to swing the camera around because it's not getting the full range of where I am. Right, so there we go. This is second hand, just bought from One Lines. And see their sticker just there. And it's in London Middle Living. This has been DCC fitted, it's been wired in because it's not DCC ready. And here we go. So this is the card. 17504. And brief history of you 170 there. And our two units. This is the most car. And this is the Dominion unit. Or Mirror Life would be a Dominion unit because it would have a motor in it too. Or an engine is probably be better better called in a real life situation. <laughs> and there we go. So it's 150, 504. It's got a dummy coupler there, which is quite nice. It's got the clip type couplers there, which means you can't have DCC going through the coupler. These couplers are quite nice. Apart from when they go out of line in the hoy to connect, which they own a few of my models and should be a placement. So, now the shade of green which you can see there is not the London Midland shade of green and is like that from the model contrary to what I thought when I watched the videos on YouTube I thought it was just how people set up lighting it made it look the really weird limish green colour but it is actually like that in real life so do expect that with your class 170s because I don't know why they do that but it is really annoying if you look at the 350 just there in the background that has got a proper shade of London and green. I mean, it might be slightly out, but to a person like me or most people, you'll be able to tell that shade is not right at all. First thing you look at when you open it up. So I'll get the motor powered up now. And there we go. So this is Coach A and this is Coach B. The labels on the doors are correct this time compared to some of the models I have which have actually been cough the class 117 on trains delivery and the Chilton 168 which is very annoying especially if they haven't even put a letter on most of the coaches just one coach will say A or one coach will say B and there's no point to it so I'll just put the boxes back in their sleeve and we will look at the model. There we go. As you can probably see from the box, this model costed £69.50. I think it was that price. It might have been slightly cheaper online. I don't know. So I'll just put that in the model storage space which is very useful. Now it's interesting to note if you haven't seen my video which I talked about my storage and trains that I keep my boxes set from the trains because I like to have instant access to the trains and the yeah when I do these reviews I put them back in their box and open the boxes. <laughs> so I've had this since January this year. This train does run quite bad, it's a bit shaky like that not too shaky it seems to vary a bit it is quite slow getting up to its starting speed and this is a train which just have a permanent position on the track which some train stairs have got some trains see if you can see it just down there in some jewels you can see half of it or third of it even where their trains won't have on all the time but i've got trains like there which i'll have out all the time and they get placed on the layout because I use them more often, even though some of them are less used than others, and those ones will come off the track first when new trains come, which I am going to use quite a bit. So, there we go, you can see there's the 
big motor in the middle which is very nice and it just powered the train really well people might complain about the lack of seating in there but it has got some seats um, I really don't mind having a motor in there like that because it means you've got really good access to your motor when you're maintaining your train and it is lovely to maintain these class 170s annoyingly these are bulb lights inside so I can't really do much with those I would like to change lights on these because on this one the lights are just on constantly all the time red and white at the same time and this one has got DCC chip which comes off the motor so it's white when it's going in one direction red in the other direction but only when it's moving which is not the best so soon to look at changing in the future or so if I was going to change in the future I'd probably paint this a better shade of green like I've done with that train there which I have got another video on or whether that one has come out before this one I do not know yet because I'm just doing a big lot of filming at the moment where I've got quite a few trains to film I think I've got two or three more to do today if you're going to say right so anyway back to topic battery class 170 I've done review of these before the detailing is quite good you've got the footsteps and You've got these bits here, that's all one piece, it can come off with a few screws. The wheels are quite nice, you've got your bogies there and turns all without any major collision. And then you've got your snow plough there, which is very nice on these models. I do think that makes quite a big difference having that there. Oh, they'd have to have that there in real life to be modelled, but... I just think the way they presented it is very good. And you've got your gangway and your pipe at your end, which is quite standard. Those doors are quite interesting, so you can see through them. But I don't really see the major point to that, because when you have them running next to each other like that, you won't really be looking in between them. So, yeah, what we need is gangways which keep the trains together. I know you can get some corridor connectors which are like plasticky and go against each other but in a perfect world I'd have sliding doors on the trains and announcements saying this is Birmingham New Street all change please are pop and these are, don't think they have automated announcements so you <laughs> yeah if I could design DCC sound decoders and I'm I have loads of ideas for how I'd make model hour components if I did. So I can make a digital system where it's like loads of cubes and you stack them up together and they each have a different component and you can buy different control knobs and then you can send a number to each knob and then it controls that train. And with the DC decoders I'd have like a micro USB port on them and you can put those into your computer to put the sound on and make it much more simpler for it comes with software. Don't steal my ideas though because I'd be quite annoyed if you steal them. So after my little talk about that, we'll put on the track. This is number 19, which it should technically be number 18, but I've got a uh, central trains on the middle of in my London and lots of the numbers aren't so organised because we've got loads of central trains, trains, and they sort of invade the London Midlands area a bit. I'll just mention on this video now because this is a London Midlands train, I have also. Obtained this London Midland Class 153 because I've already done a review on the Central Trains Class 153. I'm not going to do it. The reason why I'm doing a review on this Class 170, I've got Central Trains Class 170, I'm talking a bit fast now, is because that is the two car version and the motor is a bit different and the wiring to the LEDs is different, so it's why I'm doing a separate video on that one. In fact, I get the Central Trains Class 170 out on the track of Actually, I don't know, we'll see. I might go to Central Trains 170 out and we'll be able to look at that as well. Maybe. We'll see. That London 153's got. This is very good because it's really sure because of the gradient and you know that bullfrog snort. <laughs> but I don't think I've got the machinery or the equipment to apply it, so. Just a couple of those carriages up. There we go. And. 170, 504 I think it is. It's going backwards. 
There we go. So let's run it around and we'll have a look at it and then we'll review. Once it's seen, we do not anything else said. Oh yeah, one of the passenger door indicator lights that I've sorted the passenger, it's more of, you know, what the guard checks the orange lights on the top to make sure the doors are closed. There's missing when I got it, so... I don't know if I got it or if it fell out, but it wasn't there, so... It's had one put back in, so... Anyway, let's watch it run. There we go, that's the Batch Pass 11700 in delivery. Quite a nice train in a very good train company's delivery. Thank you for watching, and until next time, goodbye.